Good morning patrons, I hope you're all doing really really well and you're having a really good start to the week. So today I've got a really sweet little um, a DIY to show you. I'm basically going to be making a plaque to hang on my front door because, um, well, there's never anything hanging on there. I made a DIY wreath years ago, you might have seen, but since then the only other time it has anything hanging there is if I've decorated it, if, if it's one of the kids' birthdays and they're coming home from school and I'll put happy birthday on it because it's like a glass door. Um, or Christmas time we'll put a wreath on. So I thought I need to make something to hang there. Um, so inspired by the countryside as usual, um, bees are the thing at the minute which are just everywhere. Bees and butterflies. But I just thought we'll go with a bee today and maybe do a butterfly on one of my next projects. Um, so I thought I'd make a nice little plaque to hang. To, I'm just going to recycle all the plaque that I've already got and then um, just figure out a way on, on hanging it possibly on the outside because of the shape of the plaque and I want to be able to see it all but with, that's fine because the, the door is actually under cover um, by a couple of metres so if the weather did turn and it rained it probably would be okay so that's what I'm going to do today so I'm going to get on with the DIY <laughs> So just before I get started, this is the door. Obviously there's me pin board where I like to pop me feathers and things in um, when I come in. So that's the, what the door looks like there. And then I probably need to give it a little clean on the outside bit. And then I don't know if you can tell but this outside bit here goes out quite a way. It goes out by about three metres I would say at least. So if I do need to hang something on the front door then that should be okay. So I'm just going to decorate this little, it's like a little metal plaque. So I bought this from my daughter's room ages ago because it's really sweet. It was only f like from the pound shop. Um, you know, you can pick these um, these things up fairly cheap. So then I covered it with PVA glue. Now, excuse me for the random selection of clothing here that I've got on. <laughs> um, sometimes when I've got my idea, like an idea I'm going to do, I just do it. And then I might have my dressing gown on, I might have my coat on, I might have my coat, my jumper and me jogging to the top <laughs> so anyway I covered it with just scrap book paper so this is all vintage music paper so I've probably done about two layers thick um, on this plaque and I just made sure it was nice and flat and left it to dry so that was quite early in the morning when I'd been out for a walk with the dog I just chucked me coat on <laughs> so then I came outside to see if I could video a bee just to add to the video I thought it would be quite cute but typically when you come out looking for something it's never there but what I did spot was 10 new bulls that we've got in the front field so this field goes right from the back of the bonds of the back of our bonds round to the on the left and then it goes right around um, right around the front of our house to where the track is that I talk about where I take the dog up and, up and down to walk so these bulls are a bit skittish at the minute but this 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 is what they're like when they first come in. They'll be here for about nine months. Get nice and fat. <laughs> and then they'll be going on to um, higher places, shall we say. So yeah, they're, they're quite inquisitive. So when sometimes they come quite close up to the kitchen window. So that's quite cute. And they're looking in the windows at night time. <laughs> oh, there's a bee. Found one. Ah, uh, he's gone. <laughs> so after a few hours, the plaque dried and... The paper just lifted straight off the plaque. It was nowhere near going to stick to the plaque. So I just thought I might just use the paper the way it is. Because it's stiff enough to use. So then I went ahead and just used my fine line um, black pen to draw on a bee. Now, <clears throat> I haven't actually... Have I ever actually drawn a bee before? I haven't. So I know there's different types of bees. But I'm kind of just drawing in my head what I think. Um, a bee looks like. <laughs> um, sometimes they're a bit more obvious to draw when you can kind of put the colours in, the yellow and, and black, but I want to really keep it quite natural um, and just um, not not with the colours. So then I just drew the body and the wings and then obviously bees are really furry so I used the fine liner pen to just draw loads and loads and loads and loads of little um, hairs. I've probably drawn this for about maybe half an hour <laughs> so I've speeded up the video obviously I don't want you getting too bored and I'm just zoomed in here actually looks a bit like a spider here a bit like a, a tarantula so I'm just doing loads of little fine so I'll, actually I've swapped pens this is me sharpie which is a bit thicker so this just helped just create a bit depth of for the dark black areas just so it stands out a bit 
it's um you've got to have quite a bit of patience when you're drawing on like the vintage music paper because you feel like there's nothing there for a while because you've got all the musical notes and you feel like nothing's going to stand out you just have to just keep going with it so i'll probably make a free template plate the free printable template of this little bee um soon and just put i'll just pop that in my free print there <laughs> free printables page on my website uh, miniamore.com so that's under the blog section at the top you just click the blog section and it drops down and then all the free printables are in there so that's him and then i just drew the the wings um the wings are quite simple and easy to draw the thing is when you're drawing things that are quite detailed you can get away with a lot more so it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical and you can just you know change the lines and, and what have you if you feel like you've gone off a little bit um so yeah it's it's not quite as difficult as it might look so i'll I'll make a template of this so you'll have a basic outline and then you, if, if you can be bothered <laughs> you can just go ahead and just um and just you know get a little fine pen and just give it a go um dawn's really just i think about patience um so that's my little bee i'm not sure if it's a honey bee or you might be able to tell me <laughs> if you know and then i'm writing the word welcome I'm just writing it straight on here so hopefully it won't be too wonky <laughs> but i think sometimes when things are handmade i really don't get stressed about if things are going to be perfect or not because as long as i know i've put time and effort into it then i always feel like it's it's been worth the while so in slightly fancy writing here i've just wrote the word the word welcome and then i've just gone over it with my pen just to give it a little bit of definition and just make it stand out a little bit just checking have spelt that right haven't i yes i have <laughs> on well, these days i'm gonna like spell something completely wrong um my husband's always winding us up when i if i do a diy and he sees it and you know as i finished the diy and i put the video on you go do you know that spell wrong <laughs> and i'm like no one of these days um so next i'm just going to draw some foliage so i'm just going to try and like draw it coming out from the beginning um halfway up the welcome and then maybe slightly to the top on this side just to help balance it out and then I'm just going to draw some little leaves, so nothing here in particular, just some little kind of leaf shaped shapes. Just pop one on the end there and then on both sides. So I've done some of them here where they're not kind of lining up with each other. And then as I'm getting further down, I seem to have done more where they're kind of equal to, like, opposite each other. <laughs> um, yeah. So this is. And like I say, I'm not sure if this is going to go on my door now because I know what will happen. You'll, the light will shine through and you might just, you might, it might just spoil it. I think it might look better up against something like wooden. Like maybe it's on one of the shutters in the hallway. So then I've done the leaves up the other side as well. And just a little one on the top. And that seems to have balanced out the, the wonky welcome a little bit. <laughs> I think that looks quite good. So, um, for the next bit, well, I might just go over this welcome a little bit just to straighten it out. So, for the next bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something that um, I made. I've actually made a stamp, and it, the stamp is a hexagonal shape that I made. Um, I'll just switch on to the next bit of clip, video clip here, and I'll show you how I made it. So I just used um, an old rubber. So this was just one of my um, son's little car rubbers that he's never used. So it's just been lying around. So I thought I'd make a stamp out of it. So I just used a bread knife and just the chopping board here. And I've just chopped like a little section. So I've just got like a nice little sturdy section to work with. And then I cut out a little piece of cardboard in a hexagonal shape and then drew around it on the rubber um, with a pen. And then I used a sharp little, well, first of all, I just trimmed it in a little bit um, because I really want to be able to see where the stamp's going, um, if that makes sense, because I want to line up the hexagonal shapes because obviously when bees make these shapes, they're always really, really perfect. So then I used a little sharp pen just to start cutting on the pen line. So I cut down by about, say, four or five millimeters and then in from the side about, um, about the same. So I've done this on each side of the hexagon. And then I carefully cut out a smaller 
um, hexagon inside of that hexagon. Um, so leaving the walls of the hexagon, hexagon about two or three um, centimeters thick. It was a bit tricky trying to kind of pick out the middle bit, but um, it turned out all right in the end. So then I put it in my stamp block and um, my ink block, and then I just stamped on um, some hexagonal shapes. I just try to line them up so that um, they weren't just kind of all over the place. So obviously they need to like interlock with each other. So I think that's worked out quite well. So it's not doing like a perfect stamp because obviously I've cut it out the rubber and there's little bits. And so that's just kind of the look I wanted. I wanted it to look slightly vintagey. I don't really like things to be completely perfect. Just perfect enough so that it kind of works. So I haven't dipped it in the, in the ink every time here because I didn't want it to be too black. I just wanted it to just be like a little bit detail up in the corners. And then a couple down here. Yeah, I wasn't sure if this would spoil it or not, but then I'm thinking, actually, no, I think it's just a nice little subtle finishing touch for me plaque. Me little B welcome plaque. Or welcome B plaque. <laughs> there, I think that's just finished it off, and I think it's helped balance the um, actual picture out as well. So next, I just picked up the wire. This was the original wire that was in the pink plaque. And then I used me paper cutter to put a couple of holes in and then I just um, now this is obviously is really really light and the wire is really really light so I know this is just paper thick but it it wouldn't rip you know unless you pulled pulled at it because it's um it's just so light and I've just um bent it round there it's just nice to use wire for a change because I often use twine for things like this but I still had the wire obviously of, of the original plaque so I just thought I may as well use this and that's it yay I think that's turned out quite good so now I'm just going to find somewhere to put it I'll try the original location that it was meant for let's use my messy kitchen <laughs> actually I'm going to try it on the kitchen door actually I like quite light against the wood on the kitchen door um, but it would just get knocked there it just wouldn't last two minutes mm. But yeah, I quite like it hanging there. If we had a door that we didn't use much, um, hmm, maybe so have. So I'm going to head out to excuse the pink towel over the table. I don't know who's put the dog t dog's towel over the end table. Um, I'm, oh, hmm, I don't think I really like it there. I don't know, like the way the light shines through it. So I'm going to pop it in the hallway on one of the um, on the one of the wood shutters. These shutters don't really get shut, especially this time of year, so that can just sit there happily. Ha, oh, that's cute. I'm debating whether to put it in my shop or not, to be honest with you. I don't know. Let us know. Let us know. I know this is obviously just a patron video. Um, just let me know. I mean, it would be very little postage. Um, so the price just wouldn't be much. But let me know if you want me to pop this in my shop. I won't. Uh, but if you, if you want it, just tell us and I'll pop it in and at a really good price. Just because it was just a nice little doodle I done today. So thank you for watching. I'm going to leave you with my dog watching the Combine Harvester. In fact, I don't even know if it is Combine Harvester. Um, <laughs> it's some kind of plough. <laughs> anyway, so thank you for watching. Have a lovely week and I'll see you on Friday. Bye.